What is up, it's your boy Glenn here coming at y'all with another reaction video. We finna hop into episode number 9 of volume 6 of Ruby. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Who throwing hands? Oh, he training. I hate being kept in the dark like this. Yeah, Cinder was a pain, but at least she kept us filled in. Can I ask you something? You're gonna. <laughs> Why did you come with us? The night Cinder and I found you. Why are you asking? Just answer the question. <clears throat> Just made sense. Yeah. It made sense. It made All my sense. life, my father trained me to be a killer, an assassin like him. And then moments after I killed him, you two showed up looking for someone with my exact skills. Just felt like it was meant to be. That's it? <clears throat> hey, what's your problem? I mean, there has to be something you want from this, right? Salem's promised us everything. We win this thing for her, we'll be top dogs in her new world. What more do you well, want? Though? I don't know about all that. I just... Cinder was the only family I ever had. She cared about me. Yeah, I figured she, she was. She had a deeper connection with Salem. That Salem with Cinder. Here? I don't know if what we're doing... Wake up already. Cinder doesn't care about you. She doesn't care about either of us. You don't know what you're talking about. You're in denial. And if you're going to start having a crisis of identity or some crap, mm. get me out of it. Ah, oh, shit. Emerald versus Mercury? I'm sorry you didn't have a mommy that loved you. Oh, you talk a hell of shit. who hated me. He never went easy on me. Every day of training was a beating. And when I unlocked my semblance, he stole it with his. This Damn. is a crutch. This makes you weak. He told me I could have it back when I was strong. So I got strong. Fuck. I never got it back. I've had to work harder than anyone to get where I am. You may not like it here without Cinder, but I think I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. We can just learn more about Mercury in this past minute. And I feel like we are oh, yes, in forever. Mean, and I'm a big bad man now, just yeah. like the others. Here come this crazy behind me, man. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? All you ever learned was pain and violence, and now you're too afraid to leave it. Such a tragedy. You don't know me. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't think you want to smoke with this dude. That man too crazy. Ah, uh, fuck, what the you gotta say? The question is all wrong. <laughs> what? What do you want from this? Children, please. If you're not loving what you're doing, then you're in the wrong field. Mm. So what? Are you saying we should just leave? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't do that. Mm. Then what did you come here for? To say farewell. There's been a change in plans. Her oh. grace must act swiftly if we are to prevail. If General Ironwood comes to his senses and calls upon aid from Vacuo, all may be lost for us. And so the good doctor and I are being sent to Atlas to prepare. Oh, so prepare they're going directly to Atlas. Okay. It's time. Do what makes you happy, children. Please, I'm begging you. Mm. Yeah, that man is crazy as shit, bro. I don't know how anybody Oscar! can fuck with that man. That's Oscar! right. They're looking for Oscar. This city is enormous. He could have gone anywhere. This is all my fault. I overreacted. I still don't really understand what happened. Was it about the mission? It's 
kind of hard to talk about. I know, I know. Top secret. Did he do something wrong? No, he didn't. We just got some new information, and it's going to be a lot harder than we thought. I mean, if it was easy, then it wouldn't be important, right? I think we're mm -hmm. all just a bit unsure of what to do next. You could stay in Mistral, get your licenses at Haven, and come back to Argus. There's a lot of good you can do here. I know your mission is important, but it's not like you're the only ones who can do it. It's not the only mission that needs doing. Shit. It's, it's kind of really, really important. Simple. So, yeah. Well, I should go pick up Adrian from daycare. I'll let Tara know what's happened, and we'll meet you later. Good luck. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, there's a cafe over there. Why don't we get something to warm up? That's Russ. How tall okay. is Nora? She seemed like she, like... Super short. Although John is like six two, right? Or six one. Anything? We'll be right back. New memorial now open. Uh oh. Following a leaf. Oh, what is it? That's not Pyrrha. Fuck, I'm actually tearing up. This is some bullshit. Why the fuck y'all do this? Mother... F fuck. When they do that? Fuck. Some people fall in love for a life. One of the many students who fought valiantly at the fall of Beacon. Man, this is some shit. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Is that her parents? Is that her mom? Why here? She trained here. Sanctum Academy. Everyone was crushed when she chose Beacon over Haven. Hmm. No one wanted to see her go, but it was where she wanted to be. Sounds like it's the same voice actress, right? Surrounded by such amazing people. Because she sounds super familiar. She should be standing here. She is. She understood that she had a responsibility to try. I don't think she would regret her choice because a huntress mm -mm -mm. would understand that there really wasn't a choice to make. And a huntress is what she always wanted to be. Miss? Why is this hitting so hard, bro? What the fuck? But she was a huntress. Thank you. John? The fuck? She just disappeared? John, why did she just you... walked off. I don't know. I'm sorry. I've been a terrible leader. And a terrible friend, and I... John, this has to stop. We heard what you said to Cinder at Haven. You're not being fair to yourself. We love you just like we loved Pira. We're teammates. Family. We don't want to lose you, too. 
I think... I think she knew she wasn't going to win. That she might not come out alive. But... She also knew she was the only one that could try. So she did. Maybe we should too. Yeah, we should. Pyra may not be by our side anymore. But we can fight like she is. And in a way, she will be. We should check back mm -hmm. in at the house. Come on. God damn, bro. That shit actually hurt. That shit fucking hurt. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Pura. I've never seen him this bad. Oh, Crow drunk drunk? Come on, let's get him up. Mm -mm, that boy drunk drunk. Uh, why am I on the stairs? Probably because no one's home, Uncle Crow. We've been out looking for Oscar. Oscar? I'm sure this looks great to the neighbors. Mm. No luck? No. You? Mm. Don't worry. We aren't going to Atlas without him. We? Sorry we won't be staying. No, you're not. How about we get out of the cold? Oh, I was wondering when you'd get back. Oh, he's just there chilling. Oh, that man got some drip. Look at him, bruh. <laughs> that man went out. Man, see, so he had to go get himself some drip. Mm -mm -mm. What are you wearing? Is something cooking? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought maybe you guys would appreciate a hot meal after spending all day looking for me. Apparently, it's my fault we were all out there in the first place. Oscar, I am so sorry for earlier. I was way, way out of line, and what I said... No, it's okay. These past few days, I've been scared of the same things you were. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be me. But I did some thinking, and I do know that I want to do everything I can to help with whatever time I have left. Good. <laughs> This team isn't the same without you, Oscar. <gasps> the casserole! Ah, shit. It, ah, burn down the house. Ah, combat gear looks good. Crow say he going to sleep. Where are you going now? I don't want to get in the way of your celebration. You've been gone <gasps> all day. This man's still Just down. Look, Ruby, I'm glad you kids worked out, uh, whatever all that was. But the fact is, we're not a single step closer to Atlas. Actually, I think I have an idea. Oh. But it's sort of a no-going-back kind of idea. Ah, oh, fuck. What you about to well, do? let's hear it. With Cordo on watch, only Atlas airships have the clearance to leave for Solitas. So, we... Deal in an Atlas airship. Okay. <laughs> that's not just breaking the law. That's that's definitely worse. How would we even? Nah, let's do airfield? that shit. That part I haven't quite figured out yet. But I okay, was okay. Stop. Just stop. Ah, oh, shit. What Crow gotta say? Look, if this thing goes south, it's not something we can just fight our way out of. This is the Atlas military we're talking about. For your sake, just drop this. Yeah, I don't like how Crow so down. I mean, I get it, but it's like, come on, man. I want to hear him out. Mm. Ruby. I want to hear him out. There you go, Ruby. I know you're trying to protect us, that you're afraid we can't do it, but right now, I don't really care what you think. Ooh. Ooh. 
Just because you don't have an idea doesn't mean we're out of options. Oz hasn't been here to tell us what to do, but we still managed to get this far anyway. We've been in bad situations before, and we didn't need an adult to come save us or tell us what to do. We just did it our way. And I say we do it our way. Mm-mm-mm. Bro, why is such a good fucking episode, bro? And then this music, too. And if you think you can keep up with us kids, huh. we'd be happy to have you. <laughs> Looks like you didn't give her enough credit either. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the episode. God damn, this was a really good episode. This episode, man. This episode really put me in my feelings. Like, what the fuck? Like, that Pyrrha, seeing Pyrrha's statue like this, man, that shit really came out of nowhere, bro. And that shit actually smacked the goofy out of me. Yeah, early in the episode, we saw Emerald questioning what she was doing, still being around Salem because Cinder was gone. I feel like Emerald, I don't know if Emerald and Mercury are gonna dip, but I feel like emerald for sure is eventually gonna try to leave there and try to find cinder herself or something like that i don't know like i don't know seeing what uh like listening what emerald was saying earlier it seems like she really really does care about cinder but honestly i feel like cinder don't really care about nobody but herself and then she realizes that i wonder if emerald is actually gonna pull like a zuko and come to the good side I could see that shit happening, but I'm not sure how everybody else would feel about that. And then Pira, man. Pira, Pira, Pira. Pira's been gone for, what, three volumes now? And she's still helping the squad, too, because, you know, John was down and the whole squad was like, you know, they're trying to figure stuff out. They weren't sure they how they could possibly win. And they thought about Pira, and John figured that she must have known that she couldn't have won against cinder but she fought her anyway and still kept going to the very end so shoot she'd been gone for volume still helping the squad mm -mm -mm. and then we get a powerful moment at the end with em with not emerald with uh ruby standing up to crow and saying no no we are going to go out there and we're gonna do this we know the odds but we gonna do this are you in or not and it's like hey Gross is like, well, shit, I guess I gotta go help y'all now. And I was just like, that's, everybody's finally on the right track and everybody's got a plan and they're gonna try to do it. But uh, yeah, this episode was really fucking good. Like, I, I can now see why everyone was really excited for me to see volume six and animation for the fights were really, really good. And this episode, man, this was really, really good. But anyway, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, please feel free to leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.